Hello everyone, Apple and Apps here once again. Thank you for joining us as we check out Sky Tourist in action. We'll dive right in. This is level 6 in the first opening world. And we'll show you how this puzzle platformer game with a unique mechanic plays in action. So right off the bat you see that you have two rockets, one L and one R. So you simply place both thumbs on screen and start lifting upwards to help propel your Sky Tourist upwards. So as you can see there, the path is blocked. So what we want to do is that. Free up the path, oops. And then go back out. And then make it through to collect this little special piece. As you can see, there's all these little, uh, they're known as cubelets. And you try to collect them all in a given level. And so now you can already see the puzzle aspects to these levels as you gotta make your way through you kinda have to create the path so as you can hopefully see to change direction of your little sky pilot you simply drop the side that you want to move to so once I get through here I'll explain that a little bit better so right now we want to drop down to the right so that means we want to drop the right rocket like that and then to raise back up, we gotta increase the left rock. And you're gonna use that mechanic throughout the entirety of the game to make it through. So this is uh, just the beginning, so there's not the greatest obstacles, but there are spikes you can run into. That is gonna get obviously more complex as you go. And then we collected the little Tika totem coin to make it through and that's how you complete level 6 and so now we'll go on and show you the next one so again you rise up until you come into a puzzle obstacle then we're gonna drop the left rocket to fall down there and then raise them both to get back into position there's also this store and you see these all these special power-ups you can collect just a little aside. I'm not even sure exactly what those do. Oops, oops. And that is how you lose a level. My fingers get stuck there. But if you break the chain between the two rockets, that is in essence how you're going to lose. So let's try to do that a little bit better. Oops, I almost did it again. Dive in like this. And this control method, it allows quite a bit of precision, especially if you're playing on the iPhone. It just seems natural to have your two thumbs on screen as you're in landscape orientation. It's also worth noting that this uh, game style is seen in the game called Finger Balanced, where in that game you're simply holding a ball to make it through a level. And this one, it's they've built on that mechanic and opened it up quite considerably. So you squeeze in like that, and you create like a little bit of trap door. Because if you don't, you can get wedged in there. And then as you saw right there, I kind of just knocked out one of the little tribal guys, which is something you don't want to do. Your goal is to do no harm. So you kind of want to keep that in mind. But that's complete in level 7. You saw the definite uh, puzzle aspect there. So let's go on. And all told, there's going to be 75 levels to play through across three different worlds. Again, this is just the opening world. And just the opening few levels of the game. Oops, I did it again. And so you're really essentially, it's like moving a pendant across a, a necklace. But we let the trap door go down. And kind of like that, you can see that your pathway up ahead's blocked. So there's nothing you can do but simply restart. Okay. We did, but we missed out on that special cube. 
And again, the force you're going to be pushing with is really important. And you don't want to pull that string too tight. Some of these swinging doors are really big. Pushing, pushing, pushing. Made it. That tiki uh, totem door is really important. Or the door, tiki totem door unlock, that is. Can't advance without it. And then as you can see, there's fork and pathways where you can choose to kind of blow through these levels. But then there's also the trying to collect everything as well. Okay. And you're also gonna. Also, there's numerous times that you're gonna have to go both forking pathways just to open up the pathways ahead. And then also, you can drop down, as you see here. Can't drop all the way down. Missed out on that one. So, this isn't the best way you can do this particular level. But this is essentially what Sky Tourist has in store for you. You're going to precariously make your way through these different levels by really dealing with balance above all else. And as you can see, here's all the level map, and then here's the different worlds. A different art style, but maintaining that, maintaining that 3D cube kind of effect. And really just a whole lot going on in these levels to appreciate in the background. I'm not done just yet. Oh, the stone's on top of this guy. So that means we want to push the stone off. It's hot though. So it looks like we got the little tiki totem right at the beginning. So that's good. Oops. I'm gonna get in this little spinning wheel thing, collecting a bunch of this stuff, knocking out the guy, which I didn't want to do, the natives. It's kind of a whole new way to think about a platformer when you're dealing with this new control scheme, so it makes you consider the balance in a whole new way. It's not directly just jumping around. And you gotta make sure the left and right rockets, your thumbs, are going to always be essentially aligned together. You don't want to get them too out of place. So the most obvious path isn't necessarily the one you want to go through. Because with these different uh, little windmill type blades, they can essentially ruin an entire level by themselves if you push them the wrong way. And the one that's most obvious is usually the wrong way. Okay, going back. Okay. Let's go back down and around. I thought we had to push the rock through, but we don't. Excellent. Collecting cubelets, trying to make it to the finish. Don't want to take up too much of your time in our in-action video. But still trying to show you as much as we can. Okay, gotta watch out for those spikes. I think we made it. So that is our Apple and Apps in action video of Sky Tourist. We hope you enjoyed it. Get an idea of this 99 cent universal game for all your iOS devices. And we'll be sure to talk to you next time.